today we're going to make the shoe, the European hind bar shoe. It's uh, circular in the center and then it comes off the toe with mass slots. It's fullered for eight, uh, seven uh, city head fives and it is welded in the heel and we're making it out of 11 and a half of three eighths by inch and a quarter. And by the time you're done making this shoe, you'll almost be able to hold on to it with your quarter-inch tongs. All right, I'm not going to mark it up and have any kind of visuals that will distract me. So I'm just going to center punch mark it at five and three-quarter, which is giving me half. And I'll just put a mark right up on the edge. And that way I've got a mark to go by. And uh, I'm not really locked in if, if my mark doesn't come out the way I want it to. All right, we're just gonna put a real quick bump in there before we turn it. Get a little bit of my material in there. I want a tight, tight toe bend. Once you get it past 90, you can see this side is shorter than this side. So I'm just gonna tighten the whole thing up. That keeps moving material, moving it out that way and shortening it down this way. You can see my center punch mark is up on top. And then just flatten it really, really good from both sides. I've got the center punch mark what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop keep this the toe straight up and down with the floor and I'm going to try and stay out on the Bic to where when I'm chopping I'm not pinching against the Bic but I'm pushing that material down I got my, my center punch mark up on top I'm going to bring it out on the Bic and I'm Chopping down, then bring it up where there's a little bit of gap, and I'm using the round side of my hammer there. Then I come here and draw it down. See how I ease up right where I put the divot from the, the horn? Come here and just go out to the corner. I've got the flat, I've got my, for my mass slot, I'm super, super thick, so I'm gonna just flatten that up. I've got it down, I'm still at 3 8 so I'm gonna just try and get some of my length by drawing it out. All right, I'm just gonna, Flatten her down, overlapping blows all the way down. Now I'll just kink it pretty sharply. Again, flatten it out nice. And what I want to do is I just want to scarf this edge right here because this edge is going to be all that gets welded together with the other side. So I've got it scarfed on that. I'm just going to make it look a little bit more like a wrap the hind foot, and then we'll go to the other side. What I'll do, start with the round side of my hammer and work down the branch. Just kinda 
kick that around in. And just flatten. You always can't flatten this too hardly enough. So now, this is the top of my shoe right here, and I'll do the same to the other side. Got it up on top, top with my edge of my hammer, and then come in here and pull that up. That stuff creates a mass lot. We're right here. Proceed to flatten it out. And I'll get it back in there. Just gonna flatten it up a little bit and then do that acute bend. Then you come in here, and just the front edge of it, I'm going to scarf it all back. I don't have to do that much stock removal after I get it welded, and it doesn't leave a big seam. So we'll just tilt it out like that. I'm going to get a little heat on it and tuck it up underneath. Go out to the, the corner and then make this more into a hind shape. Get a little heat before I put the, the flux on there and we'll get them pushed together nice and tidy. I'm gonna hold it right there on my mass slot and tighten up my toe. Right there where my mass slot, tighten up my toe. pre-scarfed so it's not really having to do a lot of work on the edges. What I want to do is what I'm looking at is I want to have this corner lined up with that corner, this corner lined up with that corner. That'll give me something to go by. All right, I got it. I'm just going to tack the corners nice, get that all the way over, tack the corner nice and work my way over. And grab this corner and push it down. Then come over here and grab this corner and push it down. And then you just gotta just start whipping on it from one end to the other. So what I started doing is fullering the corners out because 
I want those corners to be parallel with the toe. And those give me a nice, a nice landmark to go by. So I'm start pulling those out when I'm when I'm hitting those out. I'm picking up with my tongs and I'm hitting with the corner. Picking up with my tongs and hitting out to the corner. That spreads out to the corner faster when I'm welding. Now that I got it stuck, I'll probably just focus on one side. Get it all tacked again. Get those corners nice and tight. And then just pick up on the hammer and pull out to the corner. Pick up on the hammer, pull out to the corner. Take the edge of my hammer and I'm fullering with the edge of my hammer into the corner. And then you come up here and pick one spot and just This side looks like it's getting longer. So I'm gonna take and fuller this side down. When I say that, I'm gonna hit with my hammer, make this side longer. Ready? Get you a little gap. Get you a little bit of gap and just pull that down. Using the edge of my hammer and just pushing back into that corner. A little bit. As, I, as I'm forging these branches out, I just keep on putting flux on there. Keep it fluxed up. I think it's pretty well welded. I don't have any seams. Put it back in there and do it again. Really flattening this out. Just getting all my lines cleaned up. And you can see if I... Now I'm going to just... I'm going to fill this gap right here. Make it nice. It's just come in here. Hit the corner and just... Again. There, I got it. all the sluts and the slag off of there. Flatten it up, and then I'll go back to the toe. We'll get the toe sorted out and run the branches down. All right, flatten it up real good. And then what I want to do is I want to come in here and just accentuate my quarter. Go over the top, go over the top, and then come around. And then you can see
and you come here. And we'll do some more to this branch over here. I'm always just kind of trying to get a little bit of that size from flattening it. here and cotton up to the corner of that toe. On a hammer finished shoe like this, there's no need to rush and get it all and stuff because I want to make sure it's not wrapped. I want to make sure it's a nice size and I want to make sure it's going to fuller nice and so I just want to make sure it's square before I commit to that fuller because it's there's not much you can do after you fuller it. Starting to take shape. Alright. Finish. Flattening it up and getting it nice and try to cement, make it as symmetrical as possible and then, and then what we'll do and I'm just going to try and come in and split those corners because if you go past the corner it'll mess that corner up so I just want to come in here, split that corner, and mark my fullering. Boom. Come over here. Don't go past the corner. And now I'll mark my fullering in it. Got it marked. I'm just going to come in here and mark that mass a lot, and then hem, go out to the quarter. Go up over the top and then pull that back towards you. mass lay and then heel nail and then split it what we'll do for the mass lay is we're gonna pick up like this and I'm gonna use the edge of my hammer and I'm just gonna be way higher and the edge of my fuller in. Otherwise, it'll put a line there. We don't want a line. Makes it, pulls it out nice. What we'll do is we're just gonna come up here, clean, tidy up this corner a little bit. Hem it, go all the way out to the corner. When you go over the top, then bring this back and pull towards you and come back to the corner, the quarter.
Start over. We're gonna figure out where the edge is by picking up and I'm gonna be behind where the point is so that I'm pushing that point out. Push that down. Just gonna go across the toe. Kind of clean up the front half, the back part. Come in with the heel of my hammer and go out to the quarter. And then just kind of blend that in there and go right across the back. Wire brush it. I'm going to flatten it. And then I'll fold it. here with the tip and then finish it off make a nice line around the outside edge and we'll do the same to the other side square up this toe I'm gonna hit the Leaving edge of the mast a lot, the back edge of the mast a lot. Come in with the heel of my hammer, go out to the quarter, come around the corner. Pull that down a little bit, and then I'll just box it. This side is hammer box. Whole shoe. And then I'll pull her. Pretty it out. Put your mass lot really close to the edge of the anvil and just kind of come in here and clean up that line all the way across the side. So it looks like the full iron is just one piece. That line just goes right through there. The European Hind bar shoe with the mass lock clips is just a great uh, test for using the horn, learning how to use the horn, and how to leave material in the corners where you need to. It's a huge forging exercise, but it's a huge understanding of the anvil and the pick.